The bed is the focal point of the room. If you add layers to a bed, it gives you lots of possibilities to make the bed look different every day. Okay. The nice thing about this sheet is that it's 16 inches deep. If you had an extra quilt for extra padding, you could literally put it right under the fitted sheet and the fitted sheet's deep enough that it'll go around it. Okay. Our sheets are 350 thread count sateen cotton, 100% cotton. Right. Now the next thing that we have is our quilt. I thought a traditional Jacobean print would lighten up the mm -hmm. room, mm -hmm. but sometimes a Jacobean can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And so we put a very feminine geometric on the back yeah. because it's all in how you fold the bed, right. okay? Pillows frame the bed. Now here's where you get to make a decision. Do you want the Jacobean against the Geo? Mm -hmm. Or would you rather take solid green, give it a little rest, on the standard sham, you can have or, the geo, or you could do it like that. A lot of different ways. A lot yeah, of different ways. Start. So everybody always has lots of pillows around the house. You don't have to throw your pillows away. All you have to do is buy a new shelf for it and um, put a new case on it, and yeah. you can then change out seasons, and I like that. This is 100% cotton diamond throw. Love the contrast of the patterns in the Jacobean. Throws on a bed shouldn't be neat. It's not a neat, let me fold right. it. It's uh -huh. let it fall naturally. If you want, you can let it fall off the bed. You'll notice the difference between the solid color and the variegated. The white really takes the color down. If you use the solid colors, mm -hmm. it makes it feel a little bit more harvesty. Mm -hmm. So layer, layer, layer. And then you can change that all the time. This is like art. Yeah. And there's mm -hmm. really no mistake.